So the problem ended up being, I didn't know how to tie a bow tie, I never did. But anyway, it ended up being in the potato salad, and I had never even heard of salmonella before, but that was a clean up job, let me tell you that. Come on. Good evening, my name is Alfred Lawrence. And I'm Willie Harold. And you're listening to AFQK at 6. On tonight's special New Year's program, your two favorite radio hosts will ring in the new year 1934 with some informative facts and opinions on the fabulous new government programs designed to help you, the citizen, with your economic woes, including a question and answer session on the hottest brand new agencies. Tonight we will be discussing President Franklin Roosevelt's bold new initiatives, as well as their impact on the American citizen. Now we have all carried the burden of former President Wu's failures to what some analysts are already beginning to call the Great Depression. Some of us more intensely than others. So feeling some apprehensions about Roosevelt's new enactments is to be expected, to the uninformed at least. Oh, <laughs> no offense intended of course. No, not at all, not at all. Which actually brings you to the purpose of tonight's program. We would like to start off tonight by talking to you about some of the programs and initiatives President Roosevelt has developed to help answer your questions and allay your concerns. We'll open up to questioning after the body of our program. Would you like to start us off, Willie? Oh, oh certainly. One of the major parts of Roosevelt's New Deal is the Federal Emergency Relief Administration, or FERA for short. It was one of the first programs which Roosevelt enacted spearheading his New Deal, and it has already dispersed over $2 billion to state and other local legislatures, even though its initial budget was only $500 million. This money has been used to build public parks, roads, and other useful amenities, which, in turn, has created numerous job opportunities for over 20 million American citizens around the United States. As many of those tuning in know, the head of the FERA, Harry Hopkins, already has experience from his work in leading the TERA in New York. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we're actually good friends. Susan and I have them over for pork roast every other Tuesday. When the FERA was first proposed, a lot of critics were quick to point out that creating all of these jobs was actually more expensive than simply paying the people in cash. However, recent studies have shown the incredible disparity in the psychological well-being of men who are receiving cash payments to feed their family and those who are working to bring home their paychecks. Well, definitely help. Although I gotta say myself, I'd be perfectly happy to get my $30 a week in the mail than have to spend 8 hours of my day in this asylum. Of course you would, Willie. In any case, would you like to introduce the next program, please? Oh, of course I would. The next program on our list is the CWA, or Civil Works Administration. One of the results from the FERA, the CWA has only been around for about two months, yet it looks like it's already going to exceed its $400 million budget. Some experts are predicting it to shut down as early as March, which of course would cap its run in about five months. While most presidents would worry about the revenue of a venture, the CWA is practically hemorrhaging money right now. The main purpose is really, though, to give family men the self-satisfaction that they are taking care of their families. Quick question, Willie. Do you actually understand the meaning of the word hemorrhage? Oh, busted! You got me there, Al. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> what my co-host is trying to say is, it is actually more expensive to give all the men work than it would be to just mail them the disparity, which, by the way, is called a dole. But in this way, America is improved and citizens feel more financially secure in their lives. Its civilian workforce has already laid about 6 million feet of sewer pipe and actually improved over 100,000 miles of road. <laughs> whoa, 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 that is absolutely crazy. And you know, the CWA has also done a heck of a lot of work improving schools and playgrounds across the country. It really is doing just a fantastic job, Al. Quite right, Willie. I suppose we'd better move on to here to our next program, the Civilian Conservation Corps. Yeah. Well, we all know of all the promises President Roosevelt made to the American public preceding his inauguration, and I believe this quite, quite clearly exemplifies the seriousness. This is another example of the civilian nation working to better America. There is a key difference, however, the enrollees in the CCC work in entirely segregated camps and perform tasks such as reforcing decimated lands or fighting erosion in critical areas. It is also interesting to point out that all the enrollment period is six months, there are countless cases of people volunteering for another six months to better their country. Noble patriots, every one of them. Oh, definitely. In fact, let's have a moment of reflection in honor of all the great citizens of these United States working to selflessly better their nation. You know, on second thought, let's not. Oh, we're running a little short on time here, Al. 
Well, I suppose you're right, Willie. The final program on our list is the Agricultural Adjustment Administration. Well, it, well, at first it may appear to simply decrease efficiency in every way. It has actually improved income to farmers. It sets a limit to how much farmers could produce, thereby increasing the demand to raise prices as well as profits. Uh, the farmers are also paid by the government to keep parts of their fields fallow or unplanted. Well, the added benefit to this is actually an extra degree of fertility for the next set of crops, and not to mention... Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems our time is at an end. We hope to leave you at least slightly more informed about these wonderful new programs. And I gotta apologize, we couldn't make it to that question and answer session, but frankly, I was not looking forward to that in any case. You have been listening to AFQK at 6. This is Alfred Lawrence. And Willie Arrow, signing, signing off. off. Ooh, so anyway, I didn't actually know that we had that many towels in my house, but I'll tell you, we needed every single one of them. It was, it was just a disgusting amount of mess, and it really, quite frankly, made me wonder.